Hello everyone, Steve Baker here, voice of the Red Hawks, in our Get to Know the Team interviews for this 2017-18 men's basketball season. Sophomore guard Milos Jovic joins us from Leskovic, Leskovic Serbia. And uh, how's it been going so far? Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I mean, uh, I've been home for, uh, for a couple weeks in my family and everything, so I feel great right now. Is that the first time you've been home in? Yeah, since I came to America. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? So it was nice to get back and uh, have one of those burgers. You and I, you and I have yeah, talked about yeah. the hamburgers yeah. over in Serbia, a little different than they are here in America, so kind of nice to get back yeah, there. Yeah, a little bigger, a little bigger. A lot bigger, folks. A lot bigger, if you yeah. haven't had a chance to search Serbian hamburgers, make sure you do. Uh, tell us about that trip home and, and going back home and, and what your life was like there before you came here. Well, first my trip, my first trip back home was kind of, I don't know, I don't know how to describe that feeling, but uh, after a year, uh, when I when I was at home, like, I felt great, like, being around my family, being around my mom, uh, my little brother, and, um, like, just being around my friends, so I felt great, uh -huh. and, um, I mean, tasting the, the, the food again, uh, serving yeah. food, so it was, like, Really good, really good experience, um, and um, I mean, I loved it. Just back to normal yeah. again for for a little while. For anyway, a little while, yeah. uh, tell me what. Uh, when did you start playing ball? I started playing basketball basketball when I was six years old because mm -hmm. my dad is a coach. Oh, okay. Who now coaches in China? I didn't get a chance to see him um, when I was back home. Mm -hmm few weeks ago because he's still in China mm -hmm. coaching there but um, yeah I started when I was six and I'm still playing basketball. At what point did you think this is something that could take me to the US and play college basketball? I don't remember exactly but a plan was like since I started about since I started playing basketball like I knew this is this is sport for me, and uh, I wanted to be the best I can be. So I tried to try to like try to like go somewhere else with it. So I mean, I can't really remember one. Right. Uh, at what point did you decide on Miami, and what was it about Miami that said that's where I want to go? Well, first of all, great academics. Mm -hmm. uh, Miami is a great school with a beautiful campus. So, um, and the opportunity is the is the was the most important thing in my decision. Because mm -hmm. I wanted to play, I wanted to develop as a player, I wanted mm -hmm. to develop as a as a person. Right. So that's why I chose Miami. Um, you mentioned academics. Tell me about your major. My major is sports leadership and management. What would you like? Obviously, you want to be playing ball after you leave here, but what else? Where do you see that that degree taking you? Uh, I want to be a coach. Okay. I want to be a coach. I want to do what my father is doing right now. So, I really, I'm, I mean, I love basketball. Mm -hmm. So, I want to be around it. Yep. I want to be around it. Obviously, a change, uh, big changes from a year ago at the end of the last season. Coach Owens and his staff is here. Uh, a lot of newcomers. Tell me about the transition for you as coming in uh, as a sophomore and seeing that change. What it's been for you? Uh, changes, uh, like changes, are uh, always good. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, we have to like develop as a basketball players and as a as a people. So this change. Um, is uh, uh, good for us because I can tell Coach Owens mm -hmm. uh, he's really good at making us better mm -hmm. and he wants us to get better. So I think uh, in overall this, this change is, is good for us. Yeah, uh, several returning players but seven newcomers with a, a couple of walk-ons. Uh, tell me how that transition has been in getting the new guys in there and, and developing that chemistry. Uh, well, as a returner, uh, I'll do my best to um, to welcome the new guys, to help them with everything they need. Because um, I was in a, in the same spot in the same position a year ago. Because mm -hmm. a year ago we had uh, seven freshmen. So mm -hmm. and the returners did a great job to uh, helping us. So I'm gonna do the same thing, uh, trying to be the, the best teammate I can be. 
so I'll try to help them out as much as I can. And as a sophomore, you've just lived what these guys are going to live for the yeah. next you know, nine yeah. months or so, a year from now. Uh, tell me what was the hardest transition in that, in that first year for you and what you can tell them, hey, this is something you don't want to do. Uh, I mean, I think uh, that transition is different for me because mm -hmm. I'm, I was, I'm, I'm coming from international like, student. Yeah, yeah, I'm an international mm -hmm. student. So it's a little bit easier for them because I had to get used to language and everything like uh, food and stuff which they're already used to, like they're already speaking English mm -hmm. and they're like living here, they're born here. So uh, the thing I'm gonna help, help them with the most is like to like to make that, um, how can I say that, it's to help them uh, focus on uh, and academics and uh, practices. So, cause that was like, um, the biggest trans transition for me, mm -hmm. I had to like focus a lot on, on uh, academics and I have to like do real good in, uh, on a basketball court. So I'm gonna try to help them with that a little bit. Particularly time yeah. management yeah. and making sure yeah. you have time to get everything yeah. done. Milos, what do you guys have to do over the next couple of months to get ready for this basketball season? We gotta get better. We gotta get, um, we, we gotta get be better obviously. So um, in general, we gotta be be a better team, be better teammates, mm -hmm. so we can like accomplish that goal that we we already set. Thanks a lot, man. Appreciate Thank it. You.